Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you go live. Uh, we're gonna cover a couple of three auto trades today. Uh, we have a signal automated to trade. As you see here, this is the last entry signal for today. It's not the whole day. Uh, we had the last entry at 43.01, target 43.12.25. And we are going up to this number, 43.12.25, based on one contract. The market analyzer is based on one contract. And then it's 425. This is the last trade for today. It's not the whole day. On the last entry signal, we have 180 ticks, 1,200 total. You don't have to trade every single instrument. For people who have a lower budget, they can go on a micro account, ES, NASDAQ, YM only, or you can take the E-mini or E-NASDAQ, E-mini, NASDAQ, or YM. On the scalper here is the same but now there is a new signal because the market is turning around and it is the same thing uh, you can use uh, base on one contract and um, what is nice about it this kind of auto trade there is five different automated to trade on the signal entry and there is no optimization required on this it require a little skill to look at the market as we see here the market and the target extend the targets by itself you don't need to do anything you just turn it on and off but you have to keep your eye on the fibs and examine your market analyzer to find out how is the market moving we're gonna jump to another auto trade uh, there is uh, still a few trades uh, left and uh, today on the other channel uh, we had some beautiful rides uh, but uh, we are about to close uh, those trades it's a 318 right now so the CL close position and it is 1700 ES close position. Look at this beautiful. Beautiful trades. 1900. Close. And this is 24 second. You can see why we are using seconds sometimes. The market is not moving and it's been on the same trade and this is only 24 seconds you can see how this market really not moving uh, it was nice move this morning and then uh, when we were on the other channel live uh, start dying out on us around 10 30 the market start uh, but it was nice day it was an easy day DAX, uh, we cover that in the other room, 26 on the 5 minutes, 3400 on the 4 minutes, range CL, 25 second ES, also we cover that every day on uh, the 25 second we cover every single day, and uh, look at this, stayed away from it, and it was the last trade here, bang, it's finished. Beautiful. Again, I'm uh, very impressed uh, with the gold. Yesterday we had a beautiful trade on the gold. And today is the same story. It was a very nice one break even, one losing trade, but it is beautiful trade. Uh, 3,800 and that on 370 take. 
Nine in the range, yes, we covered that in the room uh, on the other channel when it was uh, taking a trade. NASDAQ, and then we have ES five range. Also, this is a beautiful trade on the five range. 1100, it was very nice and easy. Uh, NASDAQ, 39 second, amazing. Most of those auto trades, they cannot survive seconds. We do. And it was done by 12 o'clock. Beautiful. And then we have the last trade is the CL one minute, which the one minute is a statement itself. Once the auto trade can trade on the minute, can trade on anything. If the auto trade cannot trade minute, you're wasting your time. And if we want to, if you don't want to look at the one minute, uh, if you want to see the seconds on the CL, I'm sure we have the second as well. Here it is. On the 22nd CL, we're talking about why 22nd? Because look at this. When the market goes sideways here, like this, it's one straight line. This is a disaster for an auto trading. But when you are using a smaller time frame, you still can survive this area here. So that's. That's a beautiful trade. And uh, we are going uh, to show the TI7. Uh, uh, the TI7 is um, for Ninja Trader 8. It's much bigger auto trade. Has 10 different entries, over 10 different filters. But what I want to show you is something very interesting about trading. If we look at the, the TI7 11 range and the TI7 on the three minutes, you can see it's the same trade and the same amount of money. The only thing different is this one taking you see, you have to find a balance. When the market not moving, we need to go with a, like this is an example, um, when the market is not moving. I mean, this is 24 second. You know, if you were using a higher time frame, you would not survive it. But then, when, if you, if you are on 11 range, you will not take that many trades, but when the market is trending, uh, will be trending. So all those details you need to be trained on, they are very important. It's not to just turn on, turn off auto trades. You know, you have to have a little knowledge with management. DAX two minutes for some reason on the precision auto trade four minutes and on the TI seven you can use two minutes or four minutes. This is uh, the DAX two minutes. Uh, Russell fifty seven second ES two minutes is a very stable uh, chart. Uh, gold two minutes two thousand CL thirteen range. 1120 ES 1000 CL 34 and um, I have explained a little bit about the range with the CL for some reason the CL can work very well uh, it is hand in hand with uh, an auto trade uh, usually six or eight six seven eight somewhere around that range the CL fits fine on the range on the ES can fit between four and five the ES uh, each instruments have a, a super high time frame or uh, 
different time frame than the others because they are totally different instruments and um, also it is very nice to be knowledgeable what works with the CL what works with the ES and um, uh, CL 300 takes is fine but I prefer the range NASDAQ takes 520 is perfect for the uh, NASDAQ and uh, the CL takes also is good and you can see the 540 takes nailed 3200 and the range 34 and here, here, here is the details in the devil you can see this is has less trade so I prefer the ones has less trade NASDAQ 12 range is an idea and um, so it's really nice to be educated when you are before you auto trade and try to see what um, instruments you like to trade the most and make it your specialty like you know you can take two chart if you have a limited account uh, whether it's a, a CL uh, ES ES NASDAQ uh, lately I don't like the NASDAQ I like the YM for some reason is uh, has more stability on an auto trade than the Nasdaq the Nasdaq can drive you crazy sometimes and it has been very fast so you know you pick up two charts or two instruments and uh, you make them your specialties and you use time and energy on those two instruments I think uh, stand wasting time trying to trade the gold CL DAX and all this if your account can handle two different instruments, then pick up what you like and use your time to learn how to manage that two instruments on which type of an auto trade and how much risk you can stomach. Uh, folks, that's all what we have for today. I want to say thank you very much. And uh, we will see you tomorrow live on the other channel. Bye for now.